Oh, well, that hits where it hurts. Hey guys, this is my review for Manchester by the Sea. I know this review is like two weeks late, but I went to the theaters today and watched a few films, and this was one that I really did want to see. I had heard so much buzz about it, and I totally understand why. The first word that comes to mind when I watched this film was raw. The amount of emotion, the lingering shots, the authentic sort of atmosphere and dialogue between the characters was raw. It was so good, it was lifelike. The funny thing is, I've always kind of come complained about certain films that are so lifelike, so realistic, it's like, what's the point of watching it when you can see that on a normal day? There are a lot of realistic dynamics with this. The film has a bit of a simplistic sort of story in the sense that it is a guy who finds out his brother dies and he has to deal with what to do with his nephew, but there's so many more layers to that because of the past and the present in the future sort of aspects of their characters. Casey Affleck is absolutely fantastic in this movie. I couldn't believe that he could do any better of a role than he did in Gone Baby Gone, and he did in this film. His role was so multi-layered, so emotional, and so absolutely captivating. The events that happen to his character, both in the present and in the past, are so layered and so absolutely traumatic in certain senses that it's amazing how his character is still going and his interactions with people are reflects of what happened to him and he's just this he's kind of an asshole because he can't really connect with people anymore because he he can't he physically can't because of what's happened to him and when he tries to work with his nephew some of the interactions are comedic but they're also quite depraved and they're quite soulless at times and we see that it stops getting funny after a while and it's sad and it's, it's emotionally turning this film was great all the way through despite the fact that this film is over two hours long I was in it the whole way through I did not want it to end, I just wanted to keep on sticking with these characters. And everyone did a phenomenal job. Not just Casey Affleck, but the kid, Michelle Williams, his brother, the dad, everyone in this film was so good. I was amazed at how well this film turned out. The cinematography and how the shots were done is great. The script is phenomenal. There are some very funny moments, but also the raw emotionality really digs into you and you really feel for these characters. In all honesty, if had I watched this movie last year, this movie would have been on my top five for sure, because I'm gonna give Manchester by the Sea a seven out of seven. Now I'm letting you know, don't walk into this movie and expect to come out feeling good because you don't. This film hits you hard, but it hits you hard in all the right places. Anyway guys, that's all for me. I'll see you guys next time.